All right, microphone check. One, two, skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 42. Um, Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Miss. See, you you said you wanted I it, then. then when I give it to Hiller you. Hiller Bay is here. Miss Grinaway is in the building. Yes, sir. Alexander DeBlanc. Yeah, the whole gang is here. Shout out to Lante Base Guard, Wyman, uh, J Productions, uh, Monique, Pink Celebrity, Joseph D. Friend, Gio the Leo, and of course, Christopher Cheatham is in the building, businessman Period. himself. Hey, uh, Y'all know how we get it popping. How was everybody's week? It was my week this week. It has been. I feel like everybody okay. did the same thing. No, um, I, we got a lot of date nights in this week, right, babe? No, we did. We, we got a problem. It was a, a lot fun. Of money. No, we can't just have a, a date night. It had to be about the money. <laughs> I mean, so I, no, but we had a lot of fun this week. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Amaya's on vacation this week, so it's been just me and Papa in here Aww. doing what we want to do. Yes. And it's been fun. We watched some um some old episodes of the podcast. Yeah, we did. My wigs was crazy. I will <laughs> kill everybody who did not let me know. Oh, my God. Like, why did y'all have me up here looking crazy like that? It was cool, babe. I was looking cruddy too, but I mean. <laughs> Yo, God damn. I mean, I had a lump in one wig. I was oh like, oh my. my God. Monique, what was you at? That was the that one. Was, you know that, that wig. You know that the one pre- that, that, you know that wig. You know that wig. Mm-mm. I think that was before Monique shout was here. Out, shout out, no, shout out, here. Oh, damn. Shout out to my, shout out to my real wig slayer, <laughs> Kendall, because that other shit, nah. That wasn't it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a fun week. We had, like I said, a lot of date nights. Me and Jay got to spend a lot of quality time. So it was good. You looking good, shorty? Thank you. Got the fat ass and all that. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that like a love? Uh, oh, y'all in booty. love, love today. <laughs> okay. Today. <laughs> today. How, how was y'all week? For the minute's sake. My week was chill. I'm gonna let Jazz go last, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Jazz always come with some adventurous shit like Tarzan, like <laughs> and you know it's what? Jazz, a, Jazz a Power Jane. Ranger in her in her it's nightlife, bro. Like super she's fighting crime and shit. <laughs> she not, look, you know what? <laughs> but now my week was chill. It was just a lot of reading, studying, and shit. But yeah, it was chill. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You you did a lot of like hanging out with uh, any. <laughs> Jay's funny as shit. <laughs> basically, my man said, huh? it's like, nah, huh? did you get? He basically said, you got some ass this week. <laughs> nah, still you, just, you, nah still you still, 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 still celibacy, celibacy going on? Still celibacy, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's definitely still celibacy. For you now, know? I so, like nah, he's lying now. Nah, I'm not. You fucked something. Nah, I can see it. I can read it. You can read it. I read it. Nah, I can read something. They be reading wrong as shit. Let me step into right. your soul. Right. Nah, ninety percent, ten percent, we be wrong. But I take that for the ninety percent. I ain't gonna lie nah, to you. Nah, we still hold some on this side. You know, we chilling. He's but, about to do something, bro. But he's just on his mind. He's just on his mind. He's like, I mean, not yet, but I might. Yeah, he got a this week. I got a friend. Do your thing. See, I told you. Wait, 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 wait. I told you. I can see. Wait, 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 wait. This it gotta be serious when you announce it, cause I ain't announcing just a friend. That's just a friend. He's a friend. But I ain't announcing that. Like you don't need to know. She's a special friend. You gotta be special. She cool. Fuck with y'all. Oh, <laughs> she cool. She cool. Oh, I like y'all it. Cute. Oh. Childish. Look, 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 look at this nigga. Look, why you shake your head? Why you like? Jazz, guess what? She's a Scorpio. Oh. <gasps> Give me some. Come on. Oh, Come on. I like, here you go. Come on. Look at That's this thing. Look, look, look at it. it. Mm-hmm. Because what you we guys like say? changing. We're like they changing love us. people. They love us. They love us. It's toxic, but you gonna love it here, baby. Hey. You gonna love it here, baby. Jess, how was your week? Uh, my week was challenging, but my week was also very uh, motivational. I feel like I'm a blessed person. I feel like I did a lot of self reflecting, a lot of time to self reflect, and I think that um, you know I have come to some realizations about just you know um, everything, like how I want to live how I want to handle myself, portray myself, um, and just like what I open the door to, what I allow in my space. Like I'm really getting ready to like reboot my entire, my entire thought process. Lit. Yeah, I love it. That's dope. I love it. And you, and, and you do that and everybody has to do that. It's like a refresh and a reset mm-hmm. like all the time. It's like mm-hmm. a constant thing though because you have to constantly overly analyze life, everything. Life, life just like, it's never smooth. Yeah. Right. And yeah. If you can't adjust to it, you'll fold. So I just have to stay 
on point and remember like, all right, shit happens it and does. it's always happened and you know, you got to move. Yep. Love I, to um, see it. I had to do some adjusting too, because you know, Sade was telling me uh, how I wasn't shit for real. Basically, like we had a conversation. I was like, you changed for real. She's like, nah, you changed. Like when I first met you, you was lit. You was popping. You was doing all this and all that. You was always busy. And then COVID came and you just was always in the house. Like you weren't busy. And I'm like, oh, I got less. busy. So last week was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Next week, fuck around, be better than that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. saying, speak that energy. Yeah, I think, law of attraction, you know what? Bro. The more you do, the more things come. Yeah, yeah. I think I got a host yeah. after this too. Yeah, we had hashtag. Yeah, I think I do. So we we gonna go party after this? I mean, yeah. you know you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> have yo, I be up. So I'm make a phone call. I think I'm not sure, but yeah. And first of all, in the perception of Jay, I never told him he wasn't shit. So he just took it and ran. That's that Gemini shit. He took it. And he was like, "This is what she really said," even though that's not what I so said. So what you say, baby? I ain't gonna I lie. I be doing that shit too, though. What you I say, think baby? A I, thing, no, like, so what kids. happened was we that's were talking about like where we were at a time in our relationship and where we were at the time. And I said before, you know, it's different. It's COVID. You're home more. You don't work as much as you did through COVID. He took that out. Say less. You wrote me gifts. You want me to get back on the scene? Say less. I thought I chilled out for you. Now, like, that was what I was now, doing. Now he's booked oh, so you, up. Now he's, he's, he's booked up every day. He's had interviews all week. He's been, but you know, he's getting to that bag. I'm proud of you, baby. You I thought, you know what I'm saying? Thing. Like, you was like, I'm you busy. COVID. It was motivation. I, I chilled for the family. Did you see it as motivation, though? It was just yeah, essential. No, it's cool. I love a challenge. It's cool. I love Why a challenge. Why everything got to be competitive with you? Nah, but you know what? Competition drives me as well. Nah, even even if it's like fact. competing yeah. against like something I did in the past. Like, yeah. That's that drives me. Yeah. Cause when I'm competing, it's different from when I'm doing something just to get through it. When I'm competing, I show up 110. Mm-hmm. percent mm-hmm. And I hate losing. It's just period. Like I hate to lose. I, I hate um having. I hate being wrong, even though I don't <laughs> mind it. Is the difference? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate. I hate when somebody gotta tell me about myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a difference mm-hmm. between like hating it and not. I, I don't mind it. Like I'll listen, but it's like fuck. Shit. Right. Wish nobody had to say that. Yeah. Like, right. like, why should, should, be, should, should hold yourself shit. accountable? You should be able to right. Especially right. when it's run, it's run through your mind. Yeah. Like, whatever they yeah. say, you, you, you I thought about it. Because yeah, I'm my worst you didn't, critic. So yeah. I already thought it's about like, it before you fuck, said it. I yeah. So it's like, I've seen it already, but you see it. Now it's a problem. Now you see it. All right, then. I got to do something about it. Hey, yo, question. Um, How many people in here seen seen Charm City Kings? You seen it? I see it, yeah. I seen the trailer. So, you know what's crazy? I had a hosting last night and um, somebody from the movie came out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Was Ooh. it a girl or a guy? It was a guy. From Chino? Baltimore? Was it Chino? No, you probably know Chino. I don't know who it was. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. Chino, right? You know yeah, Chino. I mean, I don't know him personally. But you know who it is. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, well, I was going to I wanna talk about that for a second. <laughs> Yo, we don't talk that bad. <laughs> the <laughs> main character. Like hold, hold, hold up. Time out. I but feel I like your accent yes, is watered do. down, bro. Yes, y'all do. I, I said that. I said, you yo. You say my accent is watered down? Your accent has changed, bro. Nah, hold up. From it's, like being a personality on air, I feel like you kind of switch. It's not as hard as it's it probably It's watered be. down, but I hear it. And you hear it, but it's not. Yo. Well, but this is what I will say. It's so not when Avenue. I was watching, it's not Avenue. Avenue. No, it's not that. When I was, yes, it is. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm-hmm. It no, is. it's bad. When I was listening, I was like, I know what Jay's saying. Like, they're overly emphasizing it. I'm like, but bro, y'all sound like that. No, so a nigga who not from nah, Baltimore, so, so, y'all sound like nah, I ain't gonna that. Lie. I'm y'all not gonna <laughs> I can see how people would say we sound like that, but yo was over exact. He was exaggerating the fuck it out of like everything. Like, told- yeah. So what you gonna do? Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I don't speak like that. But it was like, like they yeah, told me. Yeah, because I ain't fucking with that thing. Like, like, <laughs> nah, they was wildin'. They was wildin'. The nigga sound like he was from fucking England somewhere. Like, what the fuck? Like, but y'all remember when they said that England. Baltimore niggas sound like they are from New Britain? But yeah, nah, I heard them. <laughs> y'all speak hella proper. But, that's all but like, you know what's like... funny? Because when the boy was doing it, it was like they just told him, just add yous and dues 50 times. No, just because keep doing it. seriously, though. <laughs> When you when you think of Baltimore, the first thing that people say is to yeah. you do shoot. Well, it was just sound like you. Like yeah, man. He's but the way he was speaking, I was like, yo, we don't speak like, like but then but then you'll hear Tino speak or it's Ruby always Queen two speak. though. No, that's always the, the first one. Two. Test, yeah. How you say dog? Dog. Okay. Because they say dog. They, they, they say dog. Like, they, they say dog. No, that's <laughs> dog. Like, but you know what? Nah, 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 nah. Hold up. Hold up. 
Because my <laughs> right hand man is a Baltimore nigga, and that nigga does say, "What's up, Doug?" I'd be like, "Ugh." Come I, on, yeah. man. <laughs> so, even the way you, you said it, you know right? From that side. Even the way you said it, it was different from how he was saying. He was like, "But like, yeah, so Doug. Doug. Like, he, like, he, he literally said it like he was exaggerating yeah, yeah, yeah. the shit like you. I'm like, yo, you don't shut the fuck up. Like, Jay could not no, watch the movie in peace. That like, shit was pissing which me off because it was a good movie. And we're watching it, and Jay just was like, "Oh my god, stop this shit every two seconds." So outside of that, yeah. um, I love the movie. Yeah, like it was a great even, movie. Even in that, right? Even though I hated it, I love the fact they that they did try to portray Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Like I love that. You know what I'm saying? Even though they used Baltimore people, yeah. You know Even though he did it like overly. Okay, but a you lot. know what? You know what? One of my pet peeves was about the wire. Um, it was Big G. Being from Baltimore, and I could hear his DC accent so so heavy. Yeah, a lot of people said that though. Yeah, a lot of people said that. I heard so, that yeah, a lot. But, but I'm saying like I think the movie is great. I think yeah. I think even through the bullshit that I didn't like, right. I feel like they did a great job at like capturing Baltimore, right. like from the dirt. Like I think they did really good. No, they did. I, I, I wonder, like I wonder what the the film guys yeah. have to say about it because you know how like, you might think something's good, and the yeah. next thing you know you reading all oh, fucking. But bad you, know, you got to be careful reviews. with that because critics sometimes are not even qualified to right. make a judgment yeah. on if something yeah. was really That's Baltimore so or not. It being, a, it, it being a movie, I think is mm, okay. It's good, but it ain't the best movie. But me being from Baltimore, you could definitely puts yeah. the... Oh, it I, I, I love it. Yeah, it, and it I, and I, two more stars for me. Right. And what I just love, like just imagine being, you know, uh, working hard in your city and they put you in a movie from your city. That yeah. shit Hell was yeah. That's so... A stamp. Much and that was you know what? Love, that's bro. part like of wire, that's wire, part what of what we have to do as black people. Yeah, yeah no like facts. I thought that was so dope. And shout out to Meek Mill because he really yeah, he has, he I love this lit, character in there. Lit. And I thought he did such a good job in his character. Facts. And it was dope. Hell like yeah. I really fucked Hell, with it. So wait, where yeah. was he from in the movie? Baltimore? Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That, it's crazy because they didn't really emphasize yeah, where he was Baltimore. Well, right. Okay. Right. But, it was just a but bike you know, bike it was more yeah. yeah. But you knew it was Baltimore. And, like, you and they, like, they really filmed it around Baltimore. It was all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Charm yeah. City. Yeah. That's Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. So Baltimore. It, was, it was the whole, all the, the streets, all the houses. Matter of fact. Shout yeah. out to Ant. The nigga shot next door to Ant House. Cool yeah. Ant. Like, like we was like, wow. that's Ant House. Like okay. that shit that's was like, that shit was the hard. Thing, the thing. Um. I love the depiction. And everything, what I do, um, and let's see, I didn't say do, but like what I do, uh, I told what you I just do, said it though. Yeah. But you don't know, you know, like talent though. I feel nah, like what you. I do, but Jay always like because I went to college, bro. But whatever. What That's Baltimore, like about, my nigga. What, what, I, what I like about in, the what in I, Baltimore. <laughs> Well, you went to mortgage, right? That's the Baltimore fucking. I mean, honestly, it's not really for real because it's like you know, that's how I got introduced to like. Caribbean, West Indian, Nah, Africans. you got some diversity you know in there, but yeah. you just got Baltimore that diversity. Yeah, yeah. Definitely Hell yeah. Well, it's definitely so diverse in Morgan. There's a lot of people yeah. come here yeah. and go to uh, come but, and go to Baltimore. What I, what, I, what I didn't like, oh, yeah. it didn't have anything with the movie. It's about COVID and everything. I wish that like, you know, Willie Queen, and not really Chino, because Chino has definitely been having success, but more specifically for the Willie Queen, for Baltimore, like the fact that COVID fucked it up being in theaters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I'm like, uh, fuck. Like, whole, the whole yeah, because you know what? Like, I, I remember that. seeing commercials about it. Yeah. Yeah, it was going to be in theaters. I'm like, shit, like, especially for like somebody right, yeah. like Willie Queen. Right. And, like, then, oh. and then they probably didn't get as much money because you know how many people are like streaming for free. And everything. Like, yeah. even, like, you know what I'm saying? It sucks because it's like, no, we, all paid. These, we paid. No, we paid. Yeah, but we, we you know, paid. we know people streaming for free. Because we pay, we pay for the subscription. Yeah. Yeah, but we know people that have links and shit. Yeah. Yeah, so, but we, our view count. <laughs> uh, like, 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 we support. Um, excuse me. Facts. We we paid. We did it the right way. We, we okay, paid. we did it the right way. We support. We just got a subscription through Hulu, so fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. It's still HBO. No, but they get a they when they when they sell it to those companies, they get yeah. That's why I said we paid. Yeah. 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 But um, let's get into the podcast. Um, so it's on Hulu. It's so on HBO, HBO Max. Max. But if okay, I have that. Yeah. I do. That shit bad. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can get the other one if you want. All right. But um, yeah. So. Second one, who was it? I'm Us? still struggling for anyone who just heard that. <laughs> what? No, I tried it. Uh, oh, yeah, I have HBO Max. Right, I'm like, but I'm still struggling. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case I want to watch all TV. Right. Try they sign it off. All right, all right. So the topic that we have today, and I just thought it was so dope because me and Jasmine actually accidentally had this conversation, but it was such a good conversation. They didn't say that in a meeting yesterday. I just want to say Jess, accidentally. It I wasn't, wasn't she was on, on the call, though. No, nah, I know, but she... Sade was dragging us for our topic yesterday. Because y'all didn't have one. <laughs> I know, I know. They didn't have one. They was so dragging. I know what my excuse no was. was. Hold up, I know what know. my excuse was. Like she was dragging us had, No, we had a topic. I just didn't know if I wanted to use it or not. Okay, oh, facts. So that's facts. not okay. true. That is a fact. All right, fair enough. 
Yeah, I still wasn't ready at the Cap. time. However, <laughs> so like I was saying, me and Jazz had such a good conversation on this. And, um, you know, we agreed that it would just be good, something good to talk about on the podcast. So what it is, is surrendering to your partner and surrendering when you're dating and you actually like somebody. Yes. And um, how we kind of viewed it and then Jazz can tell how she views it. You know, just from in a partner shit, you know what I mean? What surrendering means sometimes. Like, you know, obviously me and Jay been together going on three years. And, you know, we've seen a lot of things. We've dealt with a lot of things, like, together and internally. And sometimes when it's time to move to the next step, like, all the little fun things that created butterflies or did little things before, it's hard to surrender to do again because it's almost like, <sighs> but I still, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Nah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I remember... Like last week, like, I don't know. I just said we was just small bickering about something small. And I went in the room. I'm, like, I'm going to lay down. And I was in the bed and I'm like, damn, I'm going to go sit out there with him. And I was like, I'm not going <laughs> to sit out there with this nigga. Fuck that. Then I said to myself, I was like, what's wrong with you? Why you can't just go sit out there? But it was hurting me to like, just go do it. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, you better not get up. And my other angel on my shoulder, like. Bitch, go out there, go sit with them. So I was like, the battle sitting within. there. It was like a battle. And I'm like, why am I battling about that? Is that a that? Scorpio thing? It nah, might be. Nah, because the angel was the one that, that remember, was really going on that night. You know what I'm saying? The devil was just like, they they in denial. But the angel, <laughs> they know how I put it down for real. So the angel was like, yo, you might, I'm trying to tell you, it's going, it's going to benefit I you in the lie. end. It was more so the pussy talking, like, just go out there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what like, saying? it was just that, that yeah. was the angel, like, girl, you know what I'm saying? It's going to benefit you in the end. <laughs> right. And it did. It's like, so, boom, you know what so I'm saying? Right. Short, whatever, Jay. Better come out this motherfucker. So, Y'all wild. Yeah, take <laughs> so, boom, I'm in the bed. I'm like, just go out there with him. And, like, I'm like, nah, like, fuck that. This nigga gonna be fucked up. I'm not going. And then I just got up there to go. And it was a beautiful thing. We ended up just, like, communicating. We ended up What's talking. It was so beautiful. It was thing. beautiful. Y'all made love, sis. And we made love. You were saying you know he ate it crazy. You were saying it was worth it. Uh, so, long story okay. short, like, that's the same. So, all that to say, though, um, what me and Jazz agreed on, like, it's, like, painful to that was surrender. You all right. So it was, like, painful to just surrender, like, just to do the... But it was, like, right, the right thing to do. There was nothing wrong. I just didn't want to. Like, and it was, like, why sometimes it's hard to surrender when you really like somebody or you really like something? Yeah. What does that? And some things we did was we were untying some of our traumas. Yeah. That actually caused us to feel that way. Y'all was yes. having that conversation together? Yes. Yes. Um, I'll give you love. Yeah, I'm saying, okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. So we were untying reasons why, you know, we may have been like that. Like just things from previous relationships yeah. that caused and put that hinder on us. Like starting where, from like being teenage. Yeah, from being teenager, wow. we went deep. Yeah. And you know, which made me think it's a thing. Like it's hard to surrender. It's very hard. It's I'm it. honestly still struggling to do it. Um, you know, I just don't I'm not there yet. I wanna be there, but I'm not there yet. Like I'm such a I'm such an independent woman in person like I will struggle in silence I will win in silence like I've never intertwined um anything of that nature in my dating life like I just don't know how to do it I'm still trying to get there and I was talking to um Sade and you know it just like really dawned on me like damn a lot of this is coming from fear mm. you know and I'm not a fearful a fearful person at all, but for some reason, when it comes to like submission and when it comes to letting a man do something for me or just, you know, feel vulnerable with a man, like I have a real blockage up and I'm still trying to figure out how to get rid of it. Right. And it's a day by day process. And it sometimes is in my way right. because it looks like I'm self-sabotaging something, right. but really it's like, nah, it's deeper than that. Like right. I have a fear of being vulnerable mm. and, being and disappointed and getting disappointed and getting and getting um manipulated yeah. or just getting like like I'd rather just do it myself even right. if it's harder it's like nah I'm gonna do it because if you do it I just don't know yeah. are you gonna hold this over my head are you right. gonna think less of me are right. you what going to for to say like what are your intentions yeah like I don't know I can never write so right. it's like I'll I'll bet on myself right but sometimes I'm in my own way with right. that and right. I've realized that people need support people need help it's just that honestly i've never gotten that mm -hmm. so i don't know how to receive it yeah, mm. yeah. i can speak on this shit mm -hmm. tell me self-sabotaging this shit mm -hmm. self-sabotaging shit on myself <laughs> not as much I, as I me i, I think we can nah, all agree yeah, yeah i mean nah, 
think I win. Yeah, I hope you hope so. If I'm being honest with you guys, like it's it's not something I'm proud of, but like I definitely hold the title for the most self sabotages of all time. So what I will say is, I would have to agree. I'm gonna I'm say, oh, you was wondering with the any situation. Talking about, I mean, you agreeing like it's cool when you agree. Because no, she's agreeing because she's seen, right. she's seen it firsthand. Jeez, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, what I was gonna say, um, <clears throat> joke side, like self sabotage, man. That's shit it's, real. It's, it's, as easy as this sound, right? We have to give everyone a fair shot. No, we have to because that's when self sabotaging happens because you're steady thinking about. What happened in the past? How, I mean, how, I, how I was I fucked, am up, a, fucked over I'm, in the past. I'm an overthinker. I'm paranoid. Like, these are things that As I well. know. This is, and it's not, let's get it right. And I don't want to be the doctor. I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. But we got to have this conversation. It's real live anxiety. I have horrible anxiety. Yeah. yeah. So it's funny that you said that, right? Because I want to add on to it. It's like um, somebody once broke it down. Like, they were like, depression, it means you're stuck in the past. Anxiety means you're stuck in the future. Yes. Uh, and I like yes. when you're present, it's the gift. Like you're, yeah. you're, you're living yeah. in yeah. your peace yeah. when you're in the present. Yeah. And often I would say that like we are anxious because of what we've gone through in the past. Like we start thinking what the other person or what yeah. the other person yep. is going to do yes. before they even do it. So you create scenarios. And in the minute they yep. give you a glimpse, glimpse. of yeah, like, what you even think. I knew it. Right. I told I knew you. Time. You know what I knew it. It don't even be It don't even be that. It don't be that. nothing Something at all. But, Jay's taught me. Sorry. I'm going to let you go. Is the one thing that sticks with me and it sticks with me just because it's so true is that everything that looks the same isn't always the same. And you told me that. Thanks. It really isn't. And that's just something that I've been learning because there's been things in some situations it was this. In some situations it looks the same exact thing, but the intentions and everything is so different. Exactly. It makes this experience way different. And, and to add to that, sorry, to ahead. add to like self-sabotage because it's on my mind and present, I feel like within ourselves as the person that self-sabotages, we don't feel like we're worth what we are getting. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you so create. Hold on, this. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 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 And we talked about this, Jay. Like your yeah. circumstances do not define who you yeah. are, and you're still worthy of yeah. the love, the affection, and everything yeah. that you that you are seeking. Right. But because of the traumas that we've gone through, sometimes we just it makes it ourselves hard. Art. Yeah. It yeah. blurs the image. Yeah. yeah. Am I allowed to talk? Yeah. Go ahead. Now, yeah. <laughs> can I good. can I raise my hand? Can I fucking talk, Jay? <laughs> God, motherfucking damn! And I said I wasn't gonna get on this motherfucker today and and do this. But you making me do it. And do I it. told you I changed. God damn it. I want you to do I better sound better. God damn. I better sound better. <laughs> and what you know I was going to say I... <laughs> before I had to motherfucking ask to speak. Scorpio is so. Oh, oh, so she's holding a grudge know, right here. Already. No, on camera. No, honestly, let me go back to my new self. I was going to say. There you go. There you go. I love it. <laughs> yes. I, maybe I'm a crazy person. And that's why I end up in the situations <laughs> I end up in. No, but all jokes aside. You hit the nail on the head. I have to get out of my own way because it's also it's also subconsciously in my mind that I don't deserve it. And it's like, mm, okay, why damn. don't you think you deserve it? Boom. Because I have had a rough life when it comes to certain things that most people don't go through. So it's like I'm automatically in my head like, all right, if I get it, then it's... Something's wrong with it. Or if I get it, either something's <clears throat> wrong with it or it's like... Too good to be true. It's too good to be true. Because it's like, why am I getting it? I never get shit. You know, I always got to do everything for me. So why is somebody trying to help me? Or why is somebody supporting me? Or why right. am I getting love? Like, it, to me, it's like, yeah. is it love? Like, or is it some fake shit? Like, but I can never tell the difference. Hold up, though. <clears throat> and that's the thing. Um, You know, we should be able to tell the difference. And, oh, shit. Go ahead. I just feel... Let's talk about it. Nah, cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I was going to say is, honestly, like, with partners, right? We have to be able to... Um, I think Shade actually told me this a year ago, maybe a little bit more. We have to be able to reassure our partners because we have to understand what kind of patience. I talk about the J. Cole lyrics all the time. Like, we got to love each other like we do children. children yeah. We got to give them the patience that we get. The, the same amount of patience we give children, we got to give to each other. So because we understand our community coming from African-American culture, right? We understand the traumas that we went through. 
but we have to give that same patience to, patience to our partner. So if I know, if I'm your partner, if I know that you have that trauma, mm -hmm. we have to first identify to our partner, one, that's on us. And then our partner should be able to identify and say, okay, this is something that's triggering for them. Mm -hmm. Let me treat, let me give patience and cater to that. But you know yeah. what it is for me? I have a problem doing that part. And that is something I have to work on as well because I don't like to look weak. Mm -hmm. Like I'll mm -hmm. literally like. But, but guess what though? I was going to ask you. If you can't do that, if you can't do that, then you can't get that. So your trauma is always going to be there because now your, your anxiety, the, the, thing, the same thing that you can't give, you ain't going to be able to get. So but when you don't get it, then you're going to be able to, then you're going to be self-sabotaging yourself. And I was going to add to that. Why is vulnerability seen as a weakness to you? Why is that? I feel like that's the next question is like, why do we correlate vulnerability with, with weakness? weakness? So I think for me, um, it's one of those things where, you know, I grew up and I was raised to like, just basically like brush everything off. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think nobody asked me how I felt till I was grown. Mm. And Damn. I think it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it's, I know it's not right because I've seen other people and how they grew up and I know that that's not right. But it's just like, I think in the black community in yeah. general, like even seeing a therapist is like, a joke yeah yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah, i didn't no. i didn't like, not yeah, prioritize in our yeah. community yeah. and i think it's like i grew up and i got angry yeah mm. and i had a lot of issues with my anger mm. from honestly since beginning since the beginning okay <laughs> nah, that ass, we always have. That ass. anytime i got any therapy or anything like that when i was young it was from why are you acting like this mm. it's it, not it, like it was from me physically yep. hurting someone Mm, so facts. it's like Damn. I had Real. to, I had to, and then that, then somebody will say, okay. So I, it, it kind of put it in my head. Like, all right, the only way I'm going to get somebody to ask me, am I okay? Is, is if, like, I if, I, if, I, if I act out. If I act out. That's crazy. You know what's crazy? Uh, two things I want to touch on. Um, so even back to Jazz was saying, like, you know, when we were dissecting it, so much of it is from when we were younger and was carried on. You know what I mean? Um, but the one thing like, you know, that I'm practicing and something that I've just been sharing is we have to learn that that's over now. Mm -hmm. Like we're adults now. It just like, don't we feel have, real. It, right. But what happens is you have to start to create your own realities. Mm. So at the end of the right. day, sometimes like when we were younger, because, you know, I struggled, you know, we both struggled with a yeah. lot of similar things like fighting all the time, just mm -hmm. wilding out, like not getting our points across. So we have to do all these things just to get it across. Then when we do too much, and then, then once we get there, it's y'all do too much, but it's like, nah, y'all just not hearing me. And I've been trying to say it, you know what I'm saying? So going through that cycle repeatedly, and then you see it come out in your friendships, you see it come out in your relationships, mm -hmm. you see it come out with your parents and your fallouts and all this in, in business. You get tired of seeing that as your reality. Yo, yes. First of all, I'm sorry. Always got to be a dad. I love the conversation. It's so amazing. <laughs> um, but uh, nah, what I will say is, um, I feel like so many people can relate to this yeah. conversation, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. How can we fix, not even fix it, how can we work on this and move forward? It's Honestly. A, it's an everyday thing, though. That's so it's really a practice. It's, a it's, it's, it's really a practice because what it is, is I'm like, I tell Jay this all the time. Like, I might get it right for 10 times. I might fall on 11 times. But okay. then I'm like, but, but, I, but I, it's okay because I'm not going to be perfect every time. All right. I fall on 11 time. I might go another 15 more times. I get a little farther. I'm going to fall on that motherfucking 16. But, time. but, but you have to give yourself the same amount of grace because at the end of the day, we still are coming from a traumatic past. If you don't have no sympathy or compassion for yourself, then you're always going to beat yourself up and be hard on yourself. See, I knew it doesn't even matter if I do this. It doesn't even work if I do this because I'm going to still keep falling. I'm going to still keep falling short. I'm going to still keep acting out. I'm going to still keep lashing out. But it's like, okay, but when you're undoing 20-something years of trauma, bro, it's going to take another 40 so to top it. What I will say is um, I'm not, I don't, well, I think I kind of disagree in the matter of we can't allow our past to be an excuse yeah. of we our can't, actions now. Because you know what it is? When you do that, you're the only person to blame. So even though, even on that time, let's say you, 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 you're you you're good 10 times, mm -hmm. right? On that 11th time, yeah, you need grace, but you talk about this a lot. We talk about balance, right? Yeah. You have to have enough balance to hold yourself accountable. Of course. But at the same time, yeah. say, you know what? 
I'm going to fix this and not down right. yourself. And what I say is I don't mean ever hold it as a crutch, but you cannot forget it either. And because that's how you know how far you came. You get to mm -hmm. measure yourself. And I was going to add to that. I think the major step is acceptance, right? So it's like accepting that it happened. Like it happened. It hurt. You know what I mean? But it doesn't, again, I keep going back to this, define who I am. Right. You know, like, and I feel like it boils back to like learning yourself, learning yeah. about where you came from, your origin. One particular situation in my life, like my dad, right? I'm learning more about my parents and stuff than the way that they raised me, you know? And I didn't know till, like, my dad's 72. I'm the youngest for everybody that knows, but, like, my older siblings are 40, this, that, and third. And he's made some questionable decisions. He's made, he's flawed. He, he's made some mistakes. And it wasn't until this year where, like, I realized, I didn't know my whole life that my dad didn't have a father in his life. Mm, you know, it's not wow. something that he yeah, shared, yeah. you know? So there was points in time where he was angry. He, like, right. parents and styles were questionable. But it wasn't until we had that real conversation. He was like, Bro, like I, I never had a father. Yeah. And it hit me. I was like, like it that makes sense. so much sense. Yeah. That's why yeah. you never, reacted this way. Never had a dad in his life, right? Never. Why don't you hold that? Yeah. Back to y'all topic. Oh, I was going to, well, just Go to ahead. feed off something that Alex was saying. Um, that's why the key thing is accepting yourself. Because see, the one thing about me, I know the lightness I carry. I know all the light I carry, but I also know the dark I carry. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm Do in, in it. Oh, I know. I know what the fuck time it is with me. You know, I get busy, lie. baby. When, when, it ain't no when secret. I told Shade, you get know what I'm saying? No. Like, it ain't no, what I tell you. No, nah, she said that. She said we're a lot. She said we're a lot. Like, well, I'm, I'm very said. transparent she said because, lot. like, as much, but that's what makes me unique. She did say that. Like, honestly, and that's what makes everybody unique. But you have to know that, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that way, you now can delegate what situations you put yourself in that's either triggering to you mm -hmm. or that's going to bring those darknesses out so of you that you don't bullshit. want to you know what i mean where you don't want to go with it so why you never came to me and say babe i know i'm a lot i definitely came to you and said no nah, I, I know, Man, I'm a I know I'm a lie. did anyone see that that was wild what, what happened? happened hey um Gross. but back to y'all um y'all topic i feel like are we Surrendering to your partner, so we're basically saying. Yeah, so what all I'm, I'm still so working on surrendering, and to that's myself. okay, and that's okay. What mm, I will say wait. is, sorry, you say you're working on surrendering to yourself. That's a whole different. No, no well, yeah. but but that's, that's how it starts. That's a bar. But here's the thing. Yeah. But like, I'm gonna tell I'm you why. It, but that's a start. So. Like I just now, honestly, like this year, really like believed that I was a pretty person, like mm. on the outside. I always wow. knew I had a good heart, but like th this is like the first year that I look in the mirror and I'm like, you, you're pretty mm -hmm. and you do belong here mm -hmm. and you do deserve these things mm -hmm. because in my mind, I just never felt pretty because it, like I said, childhood experiences, yeah. like it's like I went through so many ugly things that yeah. I'm like, there's no way I'm pretty. Like yeah. why do people keep wow. saying I'm yeah. so pretty? I don't see and it. That's and where that's where that's real though, but that's where I'm like kind of like insensitive to the topic because like. I'm gonna be the first one to tell you you're crazy. If you ever can't be like, yeah, I just found out this to this year. I just, you know what I'm saying? Realized that I was pretty like you're fucking stupid. Because not saying that you're stupid, what? it's like you're I, like she'll tell you, I still call her every other I'm fucking like, morning. Are you sure shit. I'm cute? I'm Are like, you sure I'm the, pretty? Yeah, I could be your friend because I'd be like, you're dumb. Like you're stupid. She do, she does. I feel like that shit right now. And I'd be like, Okay, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you might need that. You might need that. But she knows that it's coming from a real place. But what I appreciate is like you have to have a friend that you're absolutely able to be honest with. Mm. See, so sometimes you're not going to be able to have those conversations with me because people are yeah. going to judge where you're coming from. Like, I was never judging where she come from because although I don't share that experience, I share something very similar on just having a good life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came from a really rough upbringing. I'm, like, in my mind, I know I always deserved a life, but I always some, used to think I ain't going to get there because statistics so have you shown know, so you that know, I'm not. You know what it is? That too, because... I'm like, all right, so obviously I'm getting to these places because of something, you know? Mm. And when I break it down, I'm like, all right, why am I getting here? I know I got drive. I know I manifest things. Right. But it's like, all right, part of it got to be the way I look. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like, all right, I gotta, I'm starting to accept that as well. However, when I look around and I look at not the people I met along the way, but when I look at my core friends from my childhood, mm -hmm. they are all they are all serving over ten years in prison. Mm -hmm. They're some of them are dead, mm -hmm. okay, and the rest of them are on Section Eight. It's mm -hmm. crazy that we mm -hmm. having this conversation because one, before I go into what I'm about to say, because Shadi have came to me about little things about I don't know weight and shit, and I'd be like, girl, shut up, you look good. I mean, I, I know more. 
appropriate. But what I will say is it's crazy that we have this conversation. Right? <laughs> Cause we have to understand that um my friend was saying he was dating this girl, right? It was a really close friend of mine. And he was dating this girl and she was making like a hundred thousand, a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. But she was like thirty something. Uh-huh. And she wanted to have a kid and she wanted to like settle down. That's understandable though. Right. Exactly. He, on the other hand, is uh, 27. You know what I'm saying? He's making like $90,000 a year. And he's like, he's trying to like continue to grow in like yeah, in his career yeah. and, his, and his, his brand or whatever. And he's like, man, nah, I just can't, I can't date nobody like that because she's stagnant. I'm like, boy, first of all, you're stupid as shit. Stagnant? Like, you're dumb as shit. Like, well, okay, boy, you're so, like. Wait, hold on. But in his defense, I see what he's saying. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So this is, I feel too, both. Though. I feel both so, sides. But that's if what you're saying. saying I feel both sides. And wanting a certain but, life. Right. So, uh, yeah, because I feel both sides on that. But we can't, but we can't. What we, what we can't do is project what we want for ourselves on somebody, somebody else. else. Because right. what happens is, bro, like I told him, I had to tell him straight up, look, if you stop today, if you stop today, you, bro, did more than most people done in their life. And, when, and, then, and then we add your history to it, your family, the background, boy, you're a fucking legend yeah. and your family. So to, the fact that you're saying like, nah, I can't just stop right now. Like we have to appreciate right. where we are today yeah, yeah. and still. Because you don't know how long it took her to get to facts, that place. You know what I'm even though she's 30 and she's making this hundred thousand, that may be okay with her because it took her forever to just even get there. Right. But you know, somebody who's looking at it like, you know, at 30, that's where you're supposed to be because that's where I'm going to be. Shit. Some past you know that. I know a lot of 30 years old. I'm like, but that's when I look at, but that's real. No, but you know what? That's like, what? That's but surface. that's the thing too. Cause it's like, all right, personally, I know I'm not where I want to be yet, but God damn it. If a motherfucker knew how far Fox. I've come, they would never look yes. at my situation like, um, yeah, and that's what I was yeah. trying to say is about yourself. And I did it yeah. myself. I right. have never accepted shit from no nigga. Right. Like, and that's a lot of people cannot say that. Right. I have never, ever accepted shit from Damn. a nigga. Now, maybe if it's like a birthday gift, mm-hmm. okay, cool. But I have never in my life accepted shit from a nigga so, that, that this was conversation just, so, to take. Oh my God. So tie so tie well, back in, and we so much shit to say. What I was gonna say is, you know surrendering it does involve surrendering to yourself first Mm. and i know that because i had to spend a lot of time just accepting myself like again that lightness and that darkness that i carry my childhood my past i remember i remember that day we sat in a closet when i was talking to jay just about my parents and who they are and what my upbringing really is you have to accept that always in the closet man but yeah we stay in the closet bro (laughs) real shit but like that's a safe that's a safe haven, okay? It's a sacred place. That's a sacred place. <laughs> um. So, but all that to say is you have to sur- you have to surrender to your. Please, because the closet ain't a sacred place. <laughs> when we in there together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nah, what you do in the closet <laughs> ain't a sacred place, nigga. No, I'm just saying. No, I mean, wait, wait, wait. I'm not. I'm pause, 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 pause. First of all, like, this conversation, this, this conversation is really extreme. Right how, how many times do you go in there? I ain't in the me. closet, bro. <laughs> My woman is right here. Nah, not that type of closet. But we, I mean, look, when you say the closet, you gotta. Oh, what what they say on Charm City? Listen, left listen. Diana and right Tisha. If oh, you've nah, been following the Gemini Scorpio podcast, you know what we mean, bro. Okay, we gotta say that out loud. Right? He did have his period. Oh, remember that? Or y'all remember that week? That's whatever. Up, so it's Go ahead, baby. <laughs> so all that to say is surrendering to yourself is very important, so that you can be okay to take yourself as vulnerable as you need to. Like you know, and what I mean by that is like you know, just being able to like like the first thing you said when we started is just like life always gonna be a, a yeah. sh- it's gonna always come with a shit, but you have to surrender to that. Like and be mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm okay with it. With feeling the way I do right now, it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel this way because when you are dating somebody or are you are in a relationship, you can also surrender back to them because I already did it with myself. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I can give you that emotion. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay for me to love you and like and, and feel a way and like because I've accepted feeling my ways and feeling the things so, I need know, to feel. So, you know, that's another thing. It's like I'm still trying to get in touch with my feelings. Like, I can feel something on the inside and that bitch will go it'll stay there. Yeah. Like I'm just now being able to verbalize to yeah. a man like what I want. Like, exactly. you know, I like you. But that's I a can process. Barely, I'm just that's being able process. to tell someone that. I'm just being able to verbalize when and some, I and, want something. And, and it's you know, called, and, and sometimes people's emotional maturity mm-hmm. matures different. Right. And it matures at a different speed. Like you could be super mature in other in aspects. In other life. aspects. Yes. But emotional maturity is really a real thing. Like, and it comes and women and men. It's not just it's, a lot of people think emotion, emotional maturity is on men. Mm-hmm. Like men can't verbalize when they 
You know what I mean? But yeah. sometimes it is a woman too, and that's okay. And it's funny that you said that. Um, well, I just want to touch on something that you said earlier because I it, I just didn't want to speed by it. You were talking about like all of your friends that you grew up with, and uh-huh. what I'm get, the vibe that I hear is kind of like survivor's remorse. Mm. And you know what? That is a big, come through a lot big, of times. That is a big part of it. We feel like because where we came from, we're the exception. Per yeah, se. yeah. Like we yeah. feel guilty because yes. of that. Yeah. don't do that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because like. God mm-hmm. picked you for that. I mean, not to get too spiritual. Yeah, let's but talk about it. He set you apart for that reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Step into that purpose and step mm-hmm. into that identity because it's like, I did make it out. You know what I mean? Take pride in that and don't make it feel like, oh, damn, all my homies. Like, be the difference that you can be so yeah. that your homies, when they get out or they, you can be the difference. But like, yeah. look, or you're just I'm living in, this You got to be okay to be their inspiration. So can exactly. I ask you? Hey, that's don't okay to be their inspiration. Yeah. Don't be mad at me. I'm freestyling a Go little ahead. bit. No, can I ask y'all? Don't be mad. Just let me leave. Let me leave. You know what I'm saying? But now I was gonna ask y'all. Do Thank y'all you. think? Do y'all, do y'all <laughs> ladies, I feel like we can tie this into uh, the submission topic. Okay. Do y'all think because y'all can't surrender to yourself that you can't surrender to a man? Absolutely. Yeah. That's my biggest. You know, that's like my biggest yeah. struggle. That's like my biggest struggle Sometimes. is surrendering to a man. I Sometimes. don't know how to do it. I don't know where to start. Even just not say thank you. Like what if I? <laughs> so no, I, like, no, I had to tell Jazz. Let me tell you what I had to tell Jazz. Like. Cause she really, she's I really a move nigga. like a nigga. Like I be like, bro, I don't she know how not to. <laughs> so so <laughs> so we can so we can be real and say that um most a lot of women aren't submissive. Uh, no, okay, so no, I'm out, because we're talking about we're, we're gonna okay, we're gonna go to not, Jay's not topic, every woman. That's on the, no, that's no, on let's the go menu. Let's, no, let's go we're gonna it. go to your topic and then we know because that's a whole breakdown. Because I got a lot to say. But it's right off of what y'all no, had to say. But let's go. We can to say that for later. No, we'll talk about this and then we'll go to. But that. you know what? Hold on. We need it's to, also we need like a regroup. Before we do we that, really regroup. quickly. Okay, I'll go even with you today because I'm in a good spirit. But but this is what I'll say. No, not. All women. Shadi can't even surrender to me. I said, yo, let's, hold I said, on. I said trust me. I said, I said, follow me. Let me leave I for a second. Sur- yeah, I said, no, let's you. go to your topic. I was going to skip okay, it. Okay, but wait, this is what I was going to say. In order for me Look. to submit, since I refuse to do it, the man has to be that powerful and that trustworthy for me to be like, you lead the way. Because I trust that you, I trust to submit to you because I know oh you got God, it. Oh my God, guess what? Any other time, nah, I got it. So, But in oh. this, it's like, I trust you enough to think, no, you got it. Alex, I need so your help. So it's the man's oh. responsibility too to get away. So I'm going to need your help because I, I don't know verbiage. I don't know, I, um, I don't know uh, you, scriptures right. and things like that. Scriptures. But <laughs> now be honest. So I was watching a, um, a segment T.D. Jakes was talking about, right? And like you He's said. Rolling in the- that was a good for the the, the time. Right, it is. We're gonna right, go so into it. We can come back. Okay. I think she okay. wanted to it just transition. Goes, it's, 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 <laughs> no, it's not it's even that. It's a great that. transition. I, like you gotta like, I think me. it's a long conversation. But and That's I'm saying why. if we don't get to it, you gotta fo- just trust your man. If we don't get to it, we come back to it next week. It's just a great transition. There's no point of going backwards and coming back. So to then it. let's let's just go into it. I mean, hey, thank you. I love you, baby. Thank you for trusting your man. Anyway, like I was saying, is um they're engaged. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't even know. I, don't, I, no, I, I think, don't know. I think she was saying when it's time. But they might. Gen- they, they Jenny Mai. May. How the fuck you saying it was mine? So, so what I was going to say Jeannie, is. Jeannie. So speaking of um, submission, before we even get to Jeannie, right? Um, T. Jakes was saying that, you know. Fuck. Damn. But basically his Bible. That, was, go ahead. He said that when you are submitting, it's really submitting to the mission. Not even that. And before not we get that, submitting before we get to, there, you're right. Okay. Before we get there, I'm saying what you were saying. You got to trust me and understand that, like, basically, I'm the man and I'm gonna I'm take care of it. Yeah. What happens is right, and what happens is, as a man, we are there to take the fall for it, pretty much everything. You know what I'm not saying? And, all men. Not all no, men. No, no, that's we're what we're supposed, supposed to. to. No, okay. but that's what I'm saying. No, that's why I said you can help supposed me supposed with the scripture. Okay. We're supposed to. That's why. And it's crazy. Before I watched this, before I watched the segment with TD Jakes. I was telling Shade, I'm like, you gotta understand, a lot of things men do is to take the fall. And I didn't even understand. Excuse my language because Jay's talking about TD Jakes, and I'm like, it's a lot of bitch ass. But, go ahead. <laughs> but no, you're good. It's <laughs> our platform. But just don't say you're not voting, but whatever. <laughs> so, so, no, honestly, so, honestly. Please, all right, all right, okay. I'm voting now after Lit. that motherfucking good judge shit. I had. We done but no, so, to get so what I was gonna say is before, before I even seen TD Jakes, right? I was telling her, like, for example, walking on the outside of the street. Uh-huh. We're doing that because we are taking the harm we're, we're taking it first we, we're, we're there to protect you so when it comes to submission if you submit to me and it goes wrong that's on me okay so let it me just say be. this let me just say this because this fucked mm. my head up before i even came in here 
Oh no, I can't even say. And we talking? Shit. I'm talking about. Damn, I can't do the exact mind. scripture, but I I'm, can't I'm even saying what I was gonna say because. Okay, so all right, let's just say this. Let me wait. Let me just look, say this. I so to I was with someone for a very long time, right? They got into a, a really, really. They got into a few fucked up situations, and I was there for them. I bailed them out of that. I got into a fucked up situation. They didn't even call me to see if I was okay, but they know I got into a fucked up situation because we share a kid together, and that right there, it really fucked my head up because it's like. Damn, like I submitted to you from a from a perspective of like just I'm going to ride with you. me. You're going to be here to take the fall. But right. no, not even that. It wasn't even that. I did it, and that's why I say it was submission because I helped you without any expectations. I helped you because I thought that you were the man and you lead me. So I got to help you now because I need you to still lead me. And then mm. for that person to not be the leader when I needed him to most, it really, really left a bad taste in my mouth. And that's what I think the issue is with submission, especially in the millennials culture. It's because we are still figuring out who is actually going to lead when it's really time exactly. to lead. Because it's, it's like not, submit to so you, I, motherfucker. I what the fuck is men, you? What have you done for so me? So something else that came when we it was transitioning into that TD Jake segment was the fact that um, at the end of the day, a lot of men think like, because you're a woman, you're supposed to just submit just off the strength that you're a woman. Yep. Not because I'm a bi my ability to lead, not because I'm actually taking care of you, but because you're a woman. And yeah, that's what not, it not says. Not because of where you're you supposed measure to, to uh, where you measure up to as a and man. And that, I think, is more so the problem so than I think anything. that's the disconnect. Like, whereas and, it's accountability on the behalf of the man because there's a particular type of man that you're supposed to submit to exactly yes and i feel exactly. like on us as men that we do have to hold ourselves accountable 100 like and i'm a smart girl so person. i'm not going to do it until i believe that the person is worthy of me doing but it. wait so, a second though before you can get to there right let's not be ignorant about this right okay we're not like and i don't want to be that guy it's not i'm not supposed to uh you're not supposed to only submit to me we supposed You're to submit to, to each, each other. other. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So like, let's not get exactly. it fucked up. But what exactly. I'm, what, what I will say is, but how does that look like? Sorry to cut you off. How does but it how look? Does that look like on both ends? Um, as far I can as tell like, you so. From a man as opposed to a woman, because it, it doesn't look the same. I feel like. it doesn't. So uh, I can tell you what it look like from a from a what I want from a woman, and Shadé can tell you what it look like what she want from a man, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, today, um, me and Shadé, and I don't even think she noticed that I noticed it, right? So today I'm in in the, um in a living room, and I'm uh like. I'm setting up at my own pace. So I'm setting up the 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 uh, for the podcast set and I'm also like studying. Sade is cleaning up. So like every morning, like every Sunday, she pretty much cleans up before everybody get here. So today I wanted to do something different. I wanted to set up before everybody got here. So Sade came up, she was cleaning up and then she came to the living room and she was like, yo, I'm, I'm about to clean up. Basically stop what you're doing. You know what's going on, whatever it case may be. And I'm like, yo, nah, I'm setting up. Let me do what I want to do. She got an attitude, but... She went in the room. She was like, whatever. That's submission. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, just trust me that I got it. And even and on the back end, it's like, okay, she usually cleans up. So I'm a vacuum. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wipe the table down because this is what she usually do. So That's she's, just because they had some good sex this week. It is. <laughs> I mean, it might be. But I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I'm a cook. Give I'm my a man his flowers. Give my I'm man his flowers. But, nah, but, but, but that's a mission. Like but that's, that. that's a mission to me, right? So she's like, I'm gonna let you do what you do. But at the same time, as a man, I still have to get the job done. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I know the, it's, it's like TDJ said, now, it's not submission. Now, this nigga didn't vacuum or clean, I was gonna come in here like a uh -huh. motherfucker but rocket, but, but the okay? thing is, like what TDJ was saying, that, it's, not, it's, not, it's not really submitting to me or her. It's like meeting it's, halfway. A, it's, it's submitting to the mission, right? right. So yes. the mission of it is was to make sure it's clean before to everybody get, get here. here. And right? as long as we're following the same mission, it's okay. Exactly. So it's like, she was like, she was like, yo, she took that L, for her pride or ego, oh, okay. it's not an L, but I mean, if like, yo, I'm about to clean up. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody went, listen, nigga. It was a compromise. And I'm like, nah, she compromise. like, all right, what the fuck ever. You know what I'm saying? But as long as the mission got complete, we, we're we good. And what yeah. a lot of couples fail to do is first have the, the mission. What is the mission? Identifying the mission. Identifying the mission. Yeah. Identifying yeah. The yeah. mission. Like, what, what is our goal? We have goals yeah. for ourselves, but what yeah. is the goal Go for, for our relationship? relationship? You know what I'm saying? Mm. What, what, as long as, because like, even in my career, right? Like, me and Sade disagreed on a couple things. Like she was saying, like you know, like does this 
align with what you want to do. And I'm like, yeah, it might not look like it to you, but trust me, it does. And in our relationship, we have to have the same thing. Mm-hmm. And even though we might take detours, mm-hmm. our detours to get back on the right mm-hmm. path. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but if you don't have a mission statement, everything, every business has a mission statement. Yeah. So if we don't have a mission statement, we don't know where the fuck we yeah. going. We it's just like if you if you don't have a target, what you gonna hit? Exactly. Like you can't exactly. Hit so I can't. But that's yeah. just my opinion. I, yeah. I don't know what submission look like. No, you that fuck. was that was perfect. Um, we could go into. Yeah, let's know, go. So. Let's go into it. So, so um, basically, Jeannie Mai. Um, she came and she made a statement um, about how she's ready to submit to her soon-to-be husband, Jeezy. Um, Sorry. Do you gonna gonna say it again? <laughs> you can I say it again. Say it again. No, you can't. No, they, we, we, okay. they heard you. We heard okay, well, Mo, can you scroll up just a little bit? Uh, during a conversation, the daytime talk show, The Real, Jeannie says after she and Jeezy shares their I do's, she wants to be submissive to her hubby. I'm going to play it. Let's go. Let's go into it. There we go. When I hear this wow. definition, like you just said, Adrian, submitting has a negative connotation. It means that you are less important. You are lower than that person that you're submitting to. It usually can be like, you know, reference as somebody who works lower than you. And that's not what I'm referring to here. Yeah, but what I really true. learned in my life for my definition of marriage, I'm not saying what I want works for everybody. I'm saying for me, I'm a very dominant woman. I own my business, I lead my teams, I played my own manager, my own publicist, my own lawyer, when I didn't have money to have those people. So I make the decisions in my life. When I come home, I I, I like the idea that my man leads us. That doesn't mean that in this case, Jay makes all the decisions for us. That doesn't mean that when he says, hi, Jeannie Mai. Uh, Okay, I don't, can I? Okay, go ahead. I think, and this is for fun, but it's in my truth. And what she's saying, I think it's kept. And I'm going to tell you why. You don't think that she practices that, or you don't think it's just a realistic... Nah, so I'm going to be... I need y'all ladies to be patient, please. Okay. Let me say what I'm going to say. say whole, now, I'm just letting you know, because completely. you might not agree with this. All right. All right. We're so going to let him say the nah, whole thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thing. So, to be honest, so... And I might get a lot of criticism. Now, nah, go ahead. Finish. From what she's saying, in my experience, right? Mm-hmm. My woman is very submissive, but she has times when she's not. She has, I mean, she has times when she's submissive. She has times when she's not. As a man, what she's saying, through my experience, I don't think that's the submission that I want. Because, yeah, you might go to work, you make all the decisions, right? Then you come home, all right, what are we going to eat? And nigga, I don't know. I'm saying, like, I want you to choose what we're going to eat. I mean, you know what I'm saying? When I'm asking for submission is to trust me and what I'm saying. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, this, this, is, my, this is my opinion. I don't know. But through my experience, like if Shadi is working all day, of course she's not. She come home, of course she don't want to know. Figure out what she wants to, what, what we gonna eat. First of all, she does a great job at that. Let's not get it fucked up. But when it comes to eating out, what we eating? What do you, nigga? I don't know. You tell me. You know what I'm saying? When I'm looking for submission, I'm not looking for it in that. I'm looking for it. All right, babe. This is what we gonna do. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for for submission. So when she's breaking it down, I don't get that exactly. It's because I make all the decisions at work. So I want to come home and I want to be catered to. That's what I. That's, that's okay, what I hear. Okay, because first of all, two bosses. That that's just not even realistic, and I don't even feel like she's. You know, it bothers me, and I don't want to say this. Because no, you said they already said it. I know what you're going. I know where you're going. Her co- colleague said it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know so, where you're going. No. So what bothers me is like, all right, listen up. What is she? What is she? Asian. All right, listen up. <laughs> I know where she was going. Listen up. I know where she was going. Listen up. All right. I just. Don't even understand. I don't even think she understands the black culture, and it's annoying me Can because. Right. So what? So to feed off of that, her colleagues kind of touched on that, um, because they feel like men have made a point to make it clear that they choose foreign women, women of other cultures because yes. black women do don't not submit. submit, and that's where they went after. Well, a, a recap went after right and it was basically because you know you're looking to basically men are looking for somebody to just do everything they say yes and that's kind of and i'm gonna ask you yes kind of and I, i'm gonna be really but that's trans- why no we're i'm gonna be transparent you sometimes no, know what's I'm, best no i'm gonna be i'm gonna be transparent and, 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 tra- and transparently that's correct what, what, what did you say <laughs> I said some. T- I said that's ridiculous because that's why we're here. Because sometimes y'all don't know what's best for y'all. Nah, facts. Thank nah, you. nah, hundred percent. I'm not even about to 
I'm not. I won't even cap for that. Like I'm not. Fact. Can if we, that's but, the case, how can for the sake of conversation, case, if that's the case, submit all the. If that's the case, what is the point of parents? For the sake of, but hold up. For the sake of conversation, right? Can we take? Jeannie Ma, like just her ethnicity, her out ethnicity. of it. Okay, okay, you take, take it out of it. Right. So what okay. I'm saying is, you are right, right. And but that's when it comes when when I was saying T D Jakes, if you submit to me, right, anything that comes, anything that goes wrong is on me, and I'm supposed to own it's up to that. Not true though. But no, that's we're married, and I'm gonna yeah. tell you why. Mm. But we doing because, married shit. Okay, it doesn't. But exactly. So it say I trust you wholeheartedly, and you fuck up a situation. It's not just on you because there's two That's of us. Fact. It is on both of us. 100%. So that means I might have took an L and you took an L. Now I'm mad at you. Yeah, and I got to take that L too, though. You got to take that L, but I still got to play clean up for myself too. But it's on it's me. Not, but, but it no, doesn't right. matter. But every just because it's on you and your, your fault, your fault, doesn't mean that all the cleanup is going to take measure on just your part. Nah, like I might have to clean up too. No, and I'm not. And, and that's I'm, a problem. And no, I'm not taking that away. Uh, I'm not. I.E. Danny Green because his fiance is receiving death threats <laughs> after game five. On. No, <laughs> because bad. it's true. That's not a great example. I know, I know, I know. Because he saying, fucked he up and now shot. she's getting death threats. And now she's getting death threats. Can we stay row? serious? That's some like, bullshit. That's some bullshit. That don't got shit to do with what we're talking about. It does because I'm showing you an example of how. That's not submission. No, I'm not saying that. She said that. No. It, mm. But your job comes home with you sometimes. Yes, but, whatever. but what we I'm saying about- is no, because it does pertain to this, because what I'm saying is when you take a L, OK, Danny Green is the one who fucked the game up. Right. But his fiance is receiving death threats. So it still trickles back down to her. Ooh, I'm your gonna reflection say that, of your partner. I'm going to say that when we get there, because honestly, if they if them niggas would have been playing good all game, they probably wouldn't we had to wait to okay, the, the last it, second but that's, game. That's, whatever, that's whatever. Whatever, whatever. What I'm saying is what I'm saying. What I'm saying. What I'm saying is what I'm saying is what I'm saying is if you submit Miami. to me as your man, right? If you submit to me and let's say we got to take that L, right? It's on me to get to get both the hours together because you gave me that trust. But Jay, like, let's just be real. Some things that it's on you, you can't get a, out of by yourself. You can't just do everything and I'm going to just clean it up and it's yep. okay. That It just always doesn't work like that. And what I get with Jasmine saying in extremes is if it is a life or death situation, motherfucker, I go too. Yes. You can't save me yes. from that. You yes. can't save me from that. So my idea of submission has nothing to do with any of that. Like, not, I mean, not what y'all are saying, but what she, Jeannie Mai said, like, first of all, I don't give a fuck about what you claim <laughs> you put up or mm-hmm. none of that shit. Like, when I say submission, I'm talking about from the soul. I'm not talking about from the surface level of work and, 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 oh, how do you want me to wear my hair? That's, That's not what I'm talking Scorpio about. Response. I'm it's talking real. about. No, it's very no, it's I'm not it's real, about, but I'm just saying it's very I'm talking about, to see it. I'm <laughs> talking about we submit to each other, meaning when, you go out, when I go out in the world, you know, I got my cape on. I want to take that bitch off when I get home. I don't mean like, oh, I'm bossing everybody around and doing this and doing that. I'm saying like I got my shield up. I'm defending myself because people attack. That's human nature, survival of the fittest. So I want to submit to you, meaning you're the only person that I'm not defending myself from. Me and you, we, 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 right. Me and you are so close in tune that I know who you really are. Fuck with who everybody else sees you as. And you know who I really am. So it has nothing to do with, oh yeah, I want to come home and I want to be submissive because I've been a boss all day at work. No, I'm saying like in this life that we're living I want to feel like you are the person that protects me and I protect you as well. So, as but we can't get there unless we submit. And I know what you're afraid of and you know what I'm afraid so, of. And, and I just don't like, I understand what you're saying and I agree with what you're saying. But as a man, that's not what I want. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just being honest. Mm. I want trust. I want you to treat me like I'm a king. And sometimes that might look like what you're not used to. I'm just being honest. So, like, I get that, but I'm already. Um, what's the word you said? Uh, I'm like I'm already uh, fuck. I'm telling you everything. They're vulnerable. I'm already vulnerable to you. You're, you're the hold up, hold up. Okay. I'm the only one. I mean, you're the only one that I'm vulnerable to. From that, I need you to trust me. And I'm not saying I'm not saying. I I know this might sound right. Like I know this might sound weird, but I mean, listen to me. You know what I'm saying? If I say something, let it be law. Sometimes let like allow it to be law sometimes but to get there you have to understand somebody so that's what i mean like we're we're not we're not faking it for each other like 
like, okay, for example, when we all leave here, right, and y'all are just with mm-hmm. yourselves, it's different, right? It's yeah, not how yeah, you feel yeah. in front of us, right? Right, right? And that's what I mean, like, to get to that point, because a lot of submission has to do, like, a lot of trust has to do with submission, because how can you trust somebody and you don't even really how know? How can you submit to somebody if you don't trust them? And how can you trust you somebody can. who's not being transparent so this, in entirety? So mm. this is how, so even in that conversation, so I agree on both sides, honestly. But the problem that I just find, because the real question is, why? Why is it this way? Or why is this a mission, right? To get into that. The reason why I believe it's that way is because along the journey from like, we just talked about this, the beginning stages of when you're getting to know somebody or those beginning dating stages, you are watching a person, how they deal in their experience. Like, that's how you learn a person. You see how they handle certain circumstances. You see how they handle themselves in certain experiences. And it's like, okay, I could trust you because I see that you are able and capable of handling this the right way. What have, I think a lot of the problem is in that process, it's not always handled the best. So what happens is it taints the trust. Mm -hmm. So the reason why some women may cannot automatically submit is because you might've did something that is like, okay, I trust you. But I'm still trying to learn to trust you even more. So we're gonna have to keep figuring this motherfucker out. So but I think a part of the man submission. But see, I think a part of the man submission is allowing his woman to correct him and say, "All right, look, so, babe. So let's, now you know last a, time you did this. You, you, I mean, we just gotta plan better. Let's for be 100 percent transparent, though. All right. And okay. I'm gonna, without going all the way into it, right? Let's be 100 percent transparent. But for our situation, I literally never did anything. For you to not be able to trust, even if it looked different. And even this, hold up, hold up. It, even in, like, let's say this situation right here, right? Because this is something that is just fair. I'm like, yo, let's, uh, trust me on this. Before I even went into it, I said, trust me on this. Mm-hmm. And I was going for, I was going mm-hmm. to skip our topic, but you was like, you was so adamant on, no, let's, and it's like, that's a part of submission. I'm like, yo, trust me. On, and, and in this situation, I've never failed. But, but it's not always just situational. It's how I view you as a whole. Right. Mm-hmm. So if like, for example, so this is one situation you're like, OK, move to the next topic. I'm like, no, nah, let's not. You're like, no, nah, let's move to now. I'm like, I, you know, what I'm saying I'm giving you pushback. Sometimes what it is, is there's been times that I might have let you do what you wanted to do. And it didn't turn out the way I want it. Whatever the situation may be. It don't even matter the situation just off of knowing that. So even though you may in this situation, mm, I don't know. It's a question. And that's and that just comes with. A journey and that's just how I feel about it because I gotta continuously see your ability to lead and if I feel like there's been times like yeah if I feel like it's 50 50 now sometimes you on point and sometimes you, you could have done it better you but gotta understand what? and you as a man have to or any man has to take the accountability like honestly I don't have all the answers so yeah, there's gonna facts. be times she don't submit that's but first your, you said to but, me, your trust on. for her the first has to be that she knows you can do better. Like, so, but also like, even like you said, you said sometimes my woman submits, sometimes she don't. If you understand that, sometimes you lead and sometimes you fumble. You but, have to take that 50-50. But not even, right? a not, not, not even a fumble, not even but a fumble, fumble, but you gotta but, trust that she sees you, she sees you clearer than anyone else can. So she knows when you can do better. And even thanks. when you think you did great, that's where that little push comes in, where you become legendary. So because you need someone who really knows what you look like outside to, of everybody else, right? To, to, to push you. So I was gonna ask, like, where is the fine line between submission and standing on wrong? And that's you know what I'm saying, like, and not wanting to stand on wrong. You're like, yo, you're clearly wrong, but it's like, do I let you be wrong and go right, through with the process? Right. And then after the fact, like, tell you, I could have told you. So like, yeah. and what I would say is, that's my battle. More than anything, and I'm gonna keep it That's all the way. Fun- I'm gonna keep anything. it all the way funky. Like let's say if it was if it was a situation with like my friends, right? And you didn't trust it, and you're like, yo, I'm not, I'm worried on that. I would be forced to have to understand that. And if I don't, that's on me. Just be, I'm gonna be completely honest, right? That's on me. And if I give you pushback, if I like I did before in the past, that's on me. I gotta take that L, right? Well, I won't even be, I won't even be lie about that because we spoke about that a couple times, right? When it comes to like female friends and things like that. In certain situations, I feel like you got to have to have enough trust. And it's not even trust. It's just have enough confidence in your partner that like he got this. Like, for example, we know that this is my profession. That don't down you. That don't belittle you. That's just like, you know what? 
I'm going follow, to follow your lead. And if it don't go the way I wanted to go, we're going to resurface. And I guess that might be a disconnect for me. Because for me, it's not the problem. It's, it's just you as a person. I'm not counting which problem you failed in. And I'm not going to remember that. I'm just remembering that sometimes you fail to exceed the lead ability. That's all I, that's all I know. Like, I don't, I'm not looking like, okay, so this is just a friendship situation. Last time, okay, this, so the last time I, when it was a car problem, he fixed it. So I know every time he's a car. So, but you have your own but balance no, though. But, but no, it's not even a balance because what it is, like, like Alex said, right? It's really about wrong versus submission, right? So, for example, let's, pride, let's, let's, let's pride talk about versus a, let's, submission. Let, let's talk I about think a car. It's pride and ego as well. Let's talk about a car, right? Let's just put it as a car, right? My car is fucked up, right? Five mechanics told me it's the transmission. I get to J. Fuck that. It's not the transmission. It's the the West name. Mm-hmm. But five professionals just told me whatever. I done looked whatever. My dad, let's just say my dad taught me how to look a little bit in the cars. I'm like, bro, it's the transmission. Mm-hmm. You're like, just trust me. No. No. But, okay. but I feel like Jay does shit like that. But, though. but even like, no, Jay, like, Jay, 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 Jay does shit like so, that. Jay so, be like, Jay be true. But guess what? But no, no. You'd be like, everybody can agree that that couch is green and like, Jay's so gonna be like, it's yellow. So no, 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 facts. Yeah. No, and I, like, I love, I, that's a, I love, I love that shit. example. So, but what, 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 would it hurt? Would it hurt? Even if you failed, right? I'm your man. Even if, even if it failed, it, it, like if I got you right, and I say, yo, trust me. It ain't the transmission. Mm-hmm. It won't hurt you to be like, you know what? Five niggas told me that it was, it was a transmission. My man said it's not. What I'm going to do is, if you don't think it's a transmission, let's say if, if you got a car, if, if, because we said, we, it got to be, it got to be some type of car miles, right? If you got a car, let me hold your car. You take it, whatever. Come, it got to be some type of car miles, mm-hmm. right? I'll use your car. If it's not a transmission, cool. You take it because just at worst case scenario, if it is a transmission, you're going to be out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, that's you'll get where, stuck. That's where it comes in at leading because some, if you offer that, that's different. It's like, all right, I could take the chance because you gonna be on the side of the road, not me. Yeah. But if right. you're not offering, but I feel like I would do that as road. well though. But then it's also avoiding that. Like at that point, it's like, all right, look, what are like, we doing? Are we here? trying but to nah, be stubborn? But, but, but like, here's the thing. Like, it's if not I'm even asking like, a, tr- what, what, but, what would but, it take from you? If I ask you to trust me, right? If, if you if, if five people came to you says tr- transmission, what does it take from you? Like, what do you lose in a situation to trust me? It's, uh, it's okay. Ask, some, what do you lose? I'm gonna tell you something. Honestly, it's not always about what I'm losing. I'm just trying to get this shit done. So I don't yeah. care about the right like you said the mission. I'm trying to get it done. I'm on a mission. So that's going another way when we could just go get it fixed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, now, again, like, and that's just talking about a car. But when you're talking about feelings in a relationship, it gets a lot more Mind difficult than that. Because Mind now you, life. like, so, so here's the other thing. Like, I think some women pride themselves on being sound and grounded women. I'm one of those women. I know a lot of shit, even though I don't know a lot of shit, but I know a lot of shit just as much as I don't know. So you cannot just come tell me anything. You know what I'm saying? And see, and that's, I think that that's women, another thing, I because think men think that they're like, not. I'm not even going to say men think. Like, men have this complex where they feel like they, like he said, he wants to be the king. So they, it's like the king is is... But the king's not though. always but right, you, but I'm a queen. Yeah, but the king, but the king is not always like, sometimes right. Sometimes I have and the king, answers too, The king is bro. not like, always right. Have, and here's the thing. Even when you see the president, there's always a first lady. Facts, because yeah. you need that person to be like, look. Your accountability partner. Right. Exactly. Right. Like, no, like you just need someone there to humble you and let you know like look babe Bro, you i know you really all believe the and what and obviously and that's why i say I, I think this conversation is going to get a lot of like feedback because i'm just going to be completely hunted 100 as a man right allow me to fail and then you can teach me and and, and, and i know it might not sound it might not sound right i don't understand right you're like as a king allow me to fail but you're questioning everything I'm doing. No, you ain't allowing I'm not, me to no, fail. No, I'm not, no. So hold on. Like, when you're saying, just trust me, just street. trust me. Okay, but when you say, just trust me, just trust me, and I feel like I know the answer to this, and you're like, just trust me, allow me to fail even if I'm wrong. Why you can't allow and that's, me to fail? But, but that's, what, that's what ego thing. The e- like, it's like, yo, if, if you know. Both sides, no, no, both sides. Like, okay, if, if, if I come to you I with a, if, 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 just like, if you come to me, I would suppose to trust you. I'm not saying, I'm not, but I'm saying, like, whoever, if I come to you and I say, yo, this is what it is. Trust that is this. Trust it. And if it goes wrong, then you could come back and resurface. And you can be like, yo, you can teach me. And be like, you know what? I told you. 
or I was trying to tell you, and then that's for me to learn for in, a, in, a, in, a, in the future. So and I feel like fine. I was going to add to that. Um, kind of like when you say trust me, when you do fail and it affects other people, right? How do you vet that as far as moving forward? Because if you create a scenario where it's like, trust me, I fail, moving forward from that, like how do you progress from that moment? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like your failure doesn't just affect, like you, we were talking yeah. about Nick Cannon, right? Mm -hmm. In that particular yeah, situation facts. where you're a leader. Like not let's get out of the relationship, but just the leader. In it. Okay. So my decisions affect like a whole entire time, community. Like everybody. Yeah. Right. Like how, because they have to trust you. Right. You know, in that particular situation. But it's like, if I fail, so how do I move forward from that failure? You move forward Nick and- Nick Cannon obviously doesn't have a strong black woman in his so, corner. So like move, moving forward from that, right? <laughs> I, I believe- it's gonna take um it's gonna take more patience and it's gonna take patience from yourself. You know why? Because now you messed up. You have to understand that, yo, I messed up. So I can see why my people I can see why my people don't fully trust me. Mm -hmm. Right? But at the same time, it's like, yo, I made a mistake. Just understand that, yo, I'm not my intentions is to 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 take care of us. Now, you know what I'm saying? And but at the same time, like I said, like if I fuck up and that's on record. I got to take that L too that my, my team ain't going to trust me. I got to take the L. I got to take the L. So to add to the other side from the, the people, like the person that is accountable, how do you feel like within the thought process, right. you re because you have to kind of rebuild right. that trust at right. that moment. You know right. what I'm saying? Because it's like a circumstantial thing. Right. How do you rebuild that trust for yourself? So, so here's the thing. So I think it's really just like, okay, so even when Jay's like, you know, trust me, yeah, I fell, whatever. I think... Your partner should understand your intentions. So I always understand intentions. I know you didn't mean to. So mm. I'm already going forward with you because I'm giving you obviously the opportunity to continue on and us to continue on the journey to get it right. But we ain't got however, enough time to let however <laughs> let your however, intentions fuck us up. Basically. However, then you again have to understand if I'm not just as thrilled to take your trust me next time. Just understand that we could still move through the journey and you could still keep like boom, you you get things done, you keep leading and shit going right. Each time I'm gonna trust you a little further and further, but you have to be okay with that. And that's really my point. I think a lot of men don't understand that you cannot decide for a woman what you did that was di distrustworthy for them. Is that mm. the word? No. Like their but, emotions what's towards. The what's the word? Untrustworthy. untrustworthy. <laughs> Where the fuck did I get distrustworthy? Hey, untrustworthy for me. You can't decide that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll do something, men will do something, they don't even realize that they're breaking trust. But yeah. we're like, wow, okay. Yeah, I okay. see how you moving. Yeah, I see how you moving, right? So you can't decide that for us. So you cannot just count women out and say women not submissive. Well, you don't know what we're looking at that is identifying as untrustworthy. Mm. So here's here's my thing. I'm sorry, but like if I know something and I know that I know it, I don't care how much you want to be that that man in that moment. Boy, go sit down. Because gotta, you need somebody to let your ass know, all right, relax. That's all right. I gotta, and, and, some, and that's just how I feel like some women are and you just know not what? pushovers. And I feel like, and, and that's that the balance? problem. Some that's women the problem. are just not pushovers. You know what? You I, feel like, push over. I feel like if a, if a man really is a king, then he does not want to push over women because mm. you, mm -hmm. you're going to lack. Yeah. And you don't need that. If you want to be a king and you, you want to be your a woman. Good you need king, your queen. Not, you need a queen. Like if you play chess... The, the king on, don't yeah. can't move even, too much, honestly. Always, to be honest, the queen is the strongest okay. piece. Okay. The queen even, is the strongest even piece. Even when you think about, I see men always use this lion versus lioness situation. The king don't even do no work. No, the lion doesn't do any the work. The lion don't do nothing. The, the lioness is that. the so one that go that get the food. If that is the case, then we're leading we're, for real. But you're you you are tr you have picked your proper bitch, so, lioness. So, I think so, I think I just so, grew a tail. But listen, but listen, but listen. And that's where, but listen, and that's where I, I had a conversation. I had a conversation with the wolf that he wrote, um, "Cheat is not cheating," right? And he was saying, you know, men have a, a lot. We deal with a lot of pride issues, and women deal with a lot of ego issues, and that's it right there. Yes, if you look at a lion, look at a chessboard. In both situations, the king doesn't do too much, but you know what the king does? He prov that's not even an image. Uh -oh. He he provides protection for you. He allows and you to be safe. Right there. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, I'm making sure we're safe here. At the end of the day, if I'm walking, like I said, if I'm walking on, a, if I'm walking on the outside of the road, it's because I'm making sure that I get hit first. I'm making sure that I get splashed on first. It's making sure that I'm the, I'm taking the hit but first. But see, that so, is what I will submit to because now I respect you but, because I know for a fact that you, you, you care about me because you're protecting me. So I know that you're not my But opposition. what I will say is, and I, again, like I said, 
although men make mistakes, a lot of them. Let's not get it fucked up. Women too. No, no. I'm I'm just talking about because I'm talking about self. Accountability. Right. You got that. Men make a lot of mistakes. Women. I'm not gonna tell you what y'all are supposed to do or not. That ain't my job. Men want women to be able to be there to trust them, to be able to take that word, even though, like my shot said in the beginning, even though it may look different. Take my word because I got you. I got us in this situation. And I know it's hard because at the, first, at the core of submission is trust. That's not getting fucked up. And it might be hard, but that's just fuck with me. Because, because if you don't trust me, we shouldn't even be together. But, but that's, that's why I say you. in order okay, to even get to trust, you, you have, have to, to build. Speak and you have to show who you yeah, really so are. Yeah, so that's the thing. So, like, I don't think this situation is like, yeah, trust you. I understand that. But, however, if I, I have seen for you to do something distrustworthy, you have now have to ride this journey out with you know me what? as well. You know what, so Shade? that we can understand. You know what, Shade? What I'm let's, like, let's, not even say, yeah. let's not even say untrustworthy. Let's say that I'm I, just know, unsure. I know your shortcomings, okay? Yeah, hey, there we go. And I'm not saying that you can't outgrow them, but I'm but saying say, that right I know now, what they are. this isn't going to work for you. Not right. everything works for everybody. So it's not about, it's not that I don't trust you. I see your vision. It's that you're going about it wrong, right. the, the wrong and way. And I don't want to see you fail. You, we can fix this also, before it gets to that and, point. And something I made a point when Jay and I talked about this before is the fact that some men, some men are not accepting to the fact that, bro, you still have maturing to do. They don't want to hear that they have the baby boy factor or that they have immaturities. They could be very mature in this area, but they're still maturing in another area. And let you me have tell you to something. be open to that. Just you because have to be you, open you to could that. know, you could know. And I always, I always refer back to this uh, Warren Buffett quote that I, that I read. Well, I've watched this interview with him and Jay Z. And I remember him saying, you know, you know, I'm not some genius. I don't have the highest IQ. He said, but I stay in my area of competence. Mm. That's how I became who I am because I know where I'm good at and I stay there. You don't have to be a master of everything. So Facts. you could know 100%. every fucking thing. Jay hates but there the might, but trades. there's, let me I tell do. you something. No, I don't I do. care who I meet. I can meet the king of, I can meet, the unless king it's of God, Israel. yeah, anywhere. And it's going to be something I know that you don't, whether it's Facts. about nails or it doesn't matter what and, it's about. And what I'm you saying don't know is, everything. And what I'm saying is, if we can, we could sum it up, right? What I was trying to say is, you know me as a man, right? You know that I'm not. Well, I, don't, I would like to think. I don't know. Because a lot of times, who we really are aren't who we portray ourselves to be. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or who we think and we are. you have are. to accept that, so, too. Right. So I'm going I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a try to go out on the edge. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand that, as, as my partner, that I'm not a know-it-all type of person. Like, I will tell you when I'm wrong, I think. After. I think. That's yeah, a lot I mean, of men. I mean, I, I, mean, I know. Because, I'm, a lot of again, like I said, I'm not. After. I, my, par a lot my partner of men will can say that after. more than. They'll so, tell you after, so, but, but that's what I'm saying, no but you, good. But, but what, I'm saying, but what is, I'm saying is, we, you have people that won't even do that. Okay, that that's fine, yeah, but, but it that's, doesn't take that's, it away from the fact that a lot of people think they're oh, know-it-alls. No, like, no, what, what, period. No, like, well, but, it, it, but back, I got you. What I'm saying is, just back to my point, you have to understand that, like, if I fuck up, I will be able to take accountability for my fuck up, right? Until I fuck up, if I know it, just trust me. And then if I fuck up, just know that I'm going to take that. Okay, so, but what if you already did? <laughs> that's what I'm just confused. So all right, so what? like fuck fuck up. Up. So I'm so so I'm again. Fuck I'm up. I'm putting it in. You say you don't believe the situation. Well, I'm thinking the situation. Like for example, I'm so, I'm podcast production, general. right? Podcast production. I think I did a pretty good job at leading. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if I'm saying, trust me, I don't see the problem in trusting me. So here's but the issue. Is, how come when? Okay, how come when me or Alex say? something in regards to criticism of the podcast like oh well like last week i felt like remember i was like i don't feel like my lighting is right how come you take that and you're like okay i can see that let's fix the lighting but it's almost like and i'm not saying that this is what happened this is just like you know it's a question uh, yeah, yeah if sade says that the lighting's not right right here it's almost like it's like what are you talking about? I've right. done this a bazillion yeah, times. Exactly. I'm telling you, the lighting is right. I mean, if you say that, then I got to I mean, look at that. I don't I think I said, happen. I don't mean, I'm not I mean, in that, I mean, not gotta, that instance, yeah, but, of course, but I've seen but it happen. But Sally came to me about I'm mad shit about podcast shit. I've told him shit. stuff like that. Like, and I fixed it. She came well, to me about mad shit. I'm like, all right, bet. But not necessarily, but I get what no, you guys are saying. No, but I'm saying it's like more of a battle. Yeah, a hard time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, again, I can't, I like, 
Like you know how she when your parents tell you something, podcast, and, I'm you fixing know, it. Like, you know when your parents I mean, tell you something, and it's like for some reason you just be like, you nah, know, I get or whatever. Your favorite aunt but then tell you, or not even just that, but when you start seeing other people do it, you be like, damn, my mom. No, nah, so yeah. I said, maybe, so maybe I so get that, what you're saying, I, but I maybe the podcast right. might be a bad example because I feel like shout out to me about mashing. I'm like. Nah, I'm just no. I've but seen, I I've seen I us have discussions though as a group, and I've seen you almost. I'm not gonna say discredit what she said, but I've seen you kind of um, not accept what she said. You didn't take but it I as crit- like, constructive criticism. You took it as an insult. I feel oh, like man. you feel that way, vice versa too, though, on certain things. Yeah, like, that you right. Now, hundred percent. That's crazy. Like, hundred percent. Alex said, "No, we ain't going up today." But the overall point is, I think that Jazz is trying to make in a relationship, in a relationship, it's harsher to take those criticisms outside of a relationship. It's easier to see. Everybody can take it. Anybody can say it. Speaking of relationships, but I think that's also because you value a lot with your partner. This is this is for you. This is for you. This is for you. So you're sensitive to it. This is for Shade. I got a question. I'm gonna play a game, right? A game. Yo, it's for Sade. I'm, I, listen. He said no game. Listen, it's for Sade. It's for no Sade. Worries, Mom. I got a question for y'all. What's one thing? Is it a bad question? Is it a bad question? Okay. What's one thing that you did because y'all single in your last relationship that you didn't do in your previous relationship before that? And for us, what's wait, one wait, thing? Like for example, what's something like what he's basically saying? What's something you used to do for like your old nigga that you ain't doing, nigga, but you're not gonna do? Yeah, like for example, me and Sade, right? We was talking about this. So me and Sade, what I do, what I did in my last relationship that I don't do in my new relationship, I did it one time. It's what? shave. <laughs> so like, real. so like, I ain't never the shaving type. Like I'm a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'll take a shower every fucking day sometimes, every other day. <laughs> <laughs> niggas ain't shit. Niggas be taking bird baths. Bro. Let me be real. Like, like, let me, let me be real. Let me make business, sure I wash bro. my dick, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. Like. Shaving, you know, one thing I don't do, because it wasn't really me. One thing I nah, don't do. Nah, my nigga do. got to shave his dick. I'm sorry. I don't want to get down there and it's like. I'm a nah, grown ass man. man. I need my hair. You feel me? I mean, but, a little bit. I don't need that shit like all up in Jay's my. Not I, a hair guy, I don't though. need that shit. So like one thing up. I did, like my ex was like, nah. she, ain't like she ain't like that shit. So I bought her clippers. I ain't never <laughs> buy. I, I still got the clippers. I ain't never used this shit since. I don't use it. Even with her, I used it one time. Like. I ain't never but used since. Because I also, so I but like Shade a man's was man. when I met like, Shade. I, like a, I do like a right. She was like, I like a man's man. So I'm like, I'm a man's man. But he took it too far. Because remember episode something? I was like, I mean, you know, you could trim. You can be a man's man and still be well groomed. I said, there we go. I said you could trim the shit. But my shit ain't old crazy. I'm gonna tell you what happened today, right? So the clippers in the drawer. I'm like, you don't even use these shits. And he looked at me. He like. He said, so what's one thing? All right, so that's Jay's. All right, so mine is, I'm going to be honest. Yo, nah, don't I'm say that on the podcast. It. I'm saying it. Nah, don't say that shit. When she told me, I shit hurt. I ain't gonna, nah, I'm like, I want to hear it now. That shit hurt. <laughs> go nah, ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, I understand. I hear it. In my defense, I understand Jay how defense. intimidated me 100%. She said this before. Like, since the beginning. It so hurt. I don't send Jay nudes. I I've don't. I've never sent the nude. But she I used don't. to send it to her ex. She don't send it to me. Oh, no, I used to send it to me. Oh, this bitch is cat. That's what? This Yo, that shit is cat. So, so what it so was? Yeah, because I don't do that either. Yeah, me either. I ain't with that shit. No, oh, I but you was doing that. No, shit, I used though. to. I used to. But oh, let me tell you why. This is not. Not that you. That shit hurt, hurt my shit. heart. The reason why I don't do it to Jay, I'm, I told y'all this before. So I'm nah, dating Jay in the beginning. I understand. He like, you know, I don't want no news. Yeah, you know yeah. He was sending me a video. You got me penetrating your shit, and I was like, oh. I ain't say all. I ain't do all that. I ain't do all that. That's a lie. I do. I ain't do all that. No, no. I can't do that. In her defense, in her defense, so I was, ever since I then, never I been, was like, I'm not about like, to take Like, it's not going to be enough for no, him. No, no, it's no. not going to be enough for him. Right, so, so I was like, I ain't even about to waste my time. Yeah, I see it. You I feel see that. it in person, in, baby. In, in, in her defense, see it in person. In her defense, I never really been a picture type of guy. Like, honestly, I never like, yeah, don't send me no fucking nude. Send me a video. Let's get it popping. Since the beginning. I just been like, I don't beginning. like no fucking picture. Like, don't send me no picture. Send me a video. You getting it popping. I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I've been. So in your defense. I understand, but when you told me, that shit hurt my heart. I'm like, damn, what? I don't get no fucking news, and I just texted us a couple weeks ago. So it's crazy. You it's ruined crazy. it for yourself when you told her to fist herself. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What do you mean? I didn't and then say that. Tell me fisting. I didn't and then he say that. Tell me, yeah, he was like, yeah, because I know bought her a dildo it. for shit like <gasps> that. The fuck? What nigga buying this girl a dildo? I fucking. I'm like, what? What else you want? I buy your shirt. What you want? The fuck? 
Don't play with me. I, I set I, I, I set you up for the alley. I'm spitting and shit. I gave you the alley. Ooh. I, I bought that for you so I can get the videos. The fuck? <laughs> And this nigga was waiting all day. He like, I'm gonna play with him. He's gonna send it to me. Meanwhile, Nothing. I'm in a room by myself. Like, yeah, he's checking his phone. He's like, hey, babe, yeah, your phone yeah, working? Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. Like, is your phone working? Like, you can't. Is it is it full? Because oh, I know if it's nah. full, you can't send me pictures or videos. Like, the fuck is but going like, on? But like, yeah, it really was that. That's the only reason why I was like, oh nah, this nigga not about to get me. Because then he proceeds from there. He was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had this bitch playing work with the controller on. But I was like, that's what? disgusting. Okay. I mean, Let's so what's on. one thing Alex, that, what, what, that, Alex, that you might what, not do for your thing? next girlfriend that you that you did for your last girlfriend? I hate feet. Like I hate feet. Oh, so so like rubbing feet. Too? Like rubbing feet. Toes? Hell no. So you still, no. so used to. Hell no. I ain't never looked toes, but like feet rubs and shit like that. I hate feet. So, I ain't so you used to that. rub your ex girlfriend feet. Because he liked that shit. Yeah, fuck but, that. I ain't okay. So it's crazy. It's crock. But no, it's crazy because I didn't I never even thought about shaving. But it's like when you have a woman. That you like, you know what I'm saying? It's like rub my feet. I used to and Shadi like, had the Shadi had the nerve to ask me, "What did I do for her that I didn't do for <laughs> other girls, nigga?" He's a like, nigga, lot. Fuck fuck everything. The fuck are you talking about? Like, nigga, word. everything. I've grown. Facts. Look, jazz. jazz. <laughs> Everybody's like jazz. <laughs> oh me? Yeah. Um, you know what? I really can't think of anything. Sorry. All right. All right. I'm Captain. I'm Captain. I'm Captain. All right. So you consistent. Damn, that don't even look. That ain't even exactly. Look. Yeah, 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 exactly. I feel like <laughs> I haven't been in enough relationships to say like. It don't have to be I... a relationship. Your last nigga versus your new nigga. Okay. Or whatever. Oh, oh. Well then, boom, nigga. I'm gonna say okay. Last nigga, I wouldn't fucking cross the street for <laughs> new nigga, man. Whatever that nigga want to do in the bedroom, hey, I'm with the shits. So like what, nigga? Yo, you know what? You're Scorpio too. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand how, like, you know how, like, they say, like, the word around town is Scorpio. All right, if I say, if so you want me to not? say what I would allow for nah, my new, freaks, for real, well, right. not my new, but the oh, person so that you, I'm I trying to. I think the nigga said You, they okay. said. You want to hear what I'm going to let him do? Nah, that ain't y'all so ready is, for so that is it in the podcast. That you so is it something that you didn't let your ex do? Of course. All right, so what I'm going to say is. What? What? <laughs> Oh, Alex Ew. is a freak. Yeah, <laughs> Alex said, yeah. what? what? I like this, Alex. I like this, she Alex. She clenched her pearls. She clenched her pearls. Like, what? No, no I, it's inappropriate. Alex is, uh, is inappropriate for this podcast? Yeah. You gotta be shitting me, girl. Stop playing. <laughs> no, it's inappropriate. We talking about the fuck? Nah, it's inappropriate. Nah, Alex, wanna know. Got to say, Alex is okay. horny. Nah, we, we now, I wanna Alex. know. I, no, I ain't gonna lie. Alex is horny. Alex is horny, but I might want to do it. I might want to do it. Shit, what? Like, what? Tell me. What? Yeah, because I need some gym. Like, what, the I'm the baby. what you willing to do? Like, nah, because you know what? Now that I'm thinking angel. about it, I'm like, damn, I'm Nasty a freak. Yeah, what? what? I'm like, you say it. You cap and say the shit. It's a nah, podcast. Nah, You're fucking up the podcast. Say it. No, because, like, kids say the shit. shit. Trust me. That I know. Trust me, say it. Facts. No. So basically, you dated more than one nigga. No, what? So what? say this shit. I'm not dating nobody. So, so, so hold say up, it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So say Stop it, so say it, so say it, so say it. Nah, hold cap, up. Cap, 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 wait, wait, because cap, they got me fucked cap, up. I'm not dating cap, anybody cap, right cap, now. Cap, okay? Say it then. <laughs> <laughs> say this shit. God, then you got mad niggas listening. It's mad nah, niggas. Nah, because you know what? When, cap, I, when I hear it cap, back in my head now, cap, it's, cap, like, it's like weird. Yeah, it's almost weird. Yo, you got so many people. If you don't say it. If you don't say it, you're doing more injustice to the podcast. Than okay, boom. It. All right, I'll say this because this is not what I'm talking about because I refuse. Don't to say, say that, that then. Nah, don't say I'm that. We don't want to no, hear that. No, I'm gonna say something you that I want to see. Podcast. I'm you gonna fuck say you fucking the podcast up. No, nah, okay, I'll say hello, something. Hello? I'll say something that I'm willing to like see my new nigga do that I've never not my new nigga but the, the somebody my that I want to see do something that I've never wanted to see. I want to see on your face. Hell no, I want to see him fuck somebody else. I just want to see it. Like, okay. I want to be there. I want to see it. I ain't gonna lie, right? I want to see so it. I, I don't never, know why I want to no, see no, it. No, That's no, weird, no, but no, I want to see it. You know what? I know why you said that, right? So, you know, me and Jay had a threesome. <laughs> <or whatever. laughs> nah, nah, I'm gonna I'm 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 say, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, right? All right. All right. I'm gonna say this. So, we have a threesome, right? It was my first time. I've never. No, Podcast real shit. Over. Real shit, real shit, <laughs> real shit, real shit. Hold on, hold on. Not real shit, real shit. I'm gonna help my sis out, right? Okay. Boom. <laughs> I never had a threesome before. I get with Jay. This nigga convinces me. Right? Boom. And I look over in this thing and I'm like, 
It looked good as a bitch. I know that shit. That shit look looked crazy. Good as hey, a look, bitch. I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. This shit look good as a bitch. And it's so weird because I'm I mean, such a possessive person. I mean, I'm such a possessive sorry, person. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but no, it's no, like, but it I don't just, know why I want right, to see him he, fuck somebody and then, else. And he sent her home in an Uber and took me. Oh, I was like, but that's oh, another thing. Wow, Hold on, wait. That's another thing. It's like, I almost want to see him violate her. Violate and, the and, bitch and get, get the out. fuck out of here. Get bitch, you ain't shit. Thrash my own bitch. I was like, <laughs> Okay, Scorpios <laughs> got crazy for a second. You want some shit, because that's what you was about to say. What the fuck you was about to say? <laughs> they not going to let it go. What not were you going to say? All. You're fucking up the podcast. I can't say it. It's, it's, it's too much. You're violating. You can't. What you've done before. Said, you know how many people are looking at this podcast like, yo, say it, say it, say it. And they're going to wait. They're going to watch it to the end. You know how much, you know what, you know what watch time mean? You know what, you know what that shit means to YouTube? You don't moment. even know. The thing is. After people, this is, we're gonna end the is, podcast on this. You know no, what? No. You know what? Watch time mean. What, so what, the crazy what thing gonna, is, if she don't say it, she gonna say it. The first thing she say as soon once as we, we done. As soon as we done. Oh yeah, I'm like, cut the camera so I can tell y'all what, what so I'm trying say, to do. Say it on like, camera. No, I will not. Cause it's, wow. it's just too much. The Gemini bullshit. It's too much. Scorpio I just podcast. Said what I said. That's a lot for me I to say that. That I want to. You know what you said on? You said a nigga. You shitted on a nigga. If you say you said I shitted on a nigga, ain't Jay. Jay's a liar. You fucking period having lying ass hoe. He's tape. a liar. He has a, So hey, you Jay, ain't say you was no nigga after they try to fuck hey, you? Hey, Jay, oh Jay, Jay has a Jay oh has a period. God. Jay has a period. Oh Jay gets a period. God. Sometimes I do. Oh my God. So I'm a minute, so no, say yes. I said that when oh I was 15 years old. You shit it on a nigga at 15. I didn't 15. say I shit it on him. Ah. Wait, so wait. You the I definition. Yo, Nicki Minaj went. Did it on him, like I literally, know. like what hey, shit involved? Did, like, hey, what hey, shit involved? Did, 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 did it on him? You know Jasmine hey, Greenaway. Hey, you know what my first Twitter name was? Shit it on him. Jazz did it on him. <laughs> you're capping. So what was it? No, so, but you mean to tell me there wasn't so shit involved? So you're not gonna say it? So you're not, so you're not gonna say it? <laughs> Do we have a PR here? For, or what are they called? The people where you oh, go. Yeah, I know what you so, mean. So you're not HR. Going, HR. 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 PR. That's how you HR. know I work about so it. Not going, so you, Do we have HR? So you're not going to do it? Geo. No. Geo's our HR today. Gemini Scorpio podcast <laughs> episode 42. Um, Leo, yo. Eight episodes of 50. What's good? Eight episodes of 50. Hiller Bay. You already know. Miss Greenaway. I did not show Alexander DeBlanc. Uh, oh, Pink Celebrity. Joseph D. Friend. <laughs> Wyman D. Produ <laughs> Wyman J. Productions. <laughs> Lante oh, Base God, Gio De Leo, so Christopher Cheatham, Mr. J Hill. The gangs all here. We out. We Street. are out. Defamation of character.